Right, back again with another YouTube upload. Right, so today I'm going to be changing the oil on the Astra. Uh, it's due, well, it's overdue. I do it every 6,000 miles. Uh, I'm not sure what the actual service um, service interval is, but every 6K I do it or thereabouts just after. It's, it's a bit late than usual because I haven't been at home. Um, I've been a bit inactive, obviously, two weeks, two or three weeks, sorry. Uh, because I've been at work and I haven't, to be honest, I've had nothing to record. There is going to be a lot of things, like videos coming out in the next two weeks, because obviously in two weeks the car's getting wrapped. Um, so I'll be doing a few videos on that, like a reveal video. I'll, I'll do like a video on the work after the reveal, a uh, reveal video, obviously. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you the oil, um, what comes in this little kit. It's I think it was about 50 quid. Um, you get six liters of oil, a filter, and a, it's like a little rubber that goes on the sump plug just to refresh that so it seals nice. And I'll tell you the company, it's off eBay. Uh, the company I've used before, really good, come really fast. So I can't complain about them to be honest. Um, the oil I've gone for is Miller's Oils. That's the one that's recommended for the Astro JVXR. To be honest, most VXRs, People say use the Miller's oils, same with the gearbox oil, use Miller's. So I'll be doing a video on that once I get that as well. So um, I'll, yeah, I'll just show you what I got. I'll go through now what I got and then I'm going to go to my granddad's because he's doing an MOT check on my car because that's due next couple of months. I just want to check to see if anything's looking like it's going to need replacing anytime soon so I can get that done. And then I will probably might do the oil change there. If not, I'll come back to my house and do it here. Um, but I'm getting it done today. Because why not? Um, right, so I'll just show you, show you what uh, what I got in this little set, and then we'll carry on from there. All right, mind my room; it's a little bit uh, messy. Right, so this is what comes in the set. So you get your Miller's oils, Trident Professional Engine Oil, five W thirty, fully synthetic. Uh, I used this last time, no problems. And as soon as you type in eBay, what oil? This is the one that comes up. There's a few Miller's ones that come up. But this is the one I've gone for. Um, this is the receipt. So this is the company I got it from, Ferguson's of Sterling. Um, it's off eBay. I don't know if it says how much it was. No. It was around 50 quid. So it was about 50 quid for this set. So you get your 5 litres and your 1 litre. Uh, I think the engine takes all of that. And that's just the right amount for it. Um, you get your little filter, which is obviously here. So it comes with a filter Bosch filter yeah Bosch filter you get your seal for when you put your filter cap back on and your little this is the little rubber I was on about for the sump plug when you uh, go to put that back on um, I'll talk through what you do with all this shit when I come to do the service I'll, I'll show you what tools you need um, little tip of these I'll tell you now before you put them on um, as you, when you go to put them on use a bit of like old oil off off the filter i'll show you when i do it but just like put a bit of oil on these because if you put these on dry they uh they can perish and snap um so the trick is to put a bit of oil on them so they don't do that right so yeah the plan is i'm going to go to my granddad's now get um my car checked and then hopefully do my service there because all the tools are there if not i'll come back and do it here because i got stuff here but i can't really be asked to do it on the drive and i can do it on my granddad's um but yeah i'm gonna go get a haircut because look Look at the fucking state of this, boys. I look like an absolute tramp. But yeah, I need to get that sorted. So you got to service myself and then service the car. Right, so I'm at my granddad's now. Um, can't use the garage because obviously it's Friday, so he's doing work, MOTs and shit. So I'm outside. I'm just going to do it here. Um, so axle stand and jack either side. Obviously axle stands so you don't don't car don't want you don't want the car dropping on your fucking head. That won't be a very good day. Um so I'm gonna show you. Oh another thing. If you do get the side side splitters along the sides, um just be just be ready to struggle getting the jacks underneath because their fucking splitters are in the way really bad and it's proper annoying. Right, so if we go under it, I'll show you in two seconds. 
So there's a nut there, bottom of the sump. Big, big advice is, I obviously haven't done it yet, I haven't started, but see this bar, it attaches here and, oh fucking hell, here. Undo that, take that off. Because last time I was lying under the car like I am now, I undone the nut, oil went on this, run down here to where I was lying on the floor here and went all over my fucking face. So take that support bar off before you take the oil out. Oh dear, I can't. it's a bit tight under there, but you know, we'll get it done. Coming up to the top. All right, obviously oil goes in there. Doesn't take a genius to work that out. Your filter's down here. Not sure on the size yet, I can't remember, but once I've got the tools, I'll let you boys know. Um, so I'm gonna crack that off first to let all the oil inside there go down to the sump. Um, that just released the, I don't know if the vacuum or whatever it's got, but my dad says undo that. And then oil will go into the sump, which is what I'm gonna do first. So I'm gonna undo that. And then I'll set up a, a tub underneath, drop the oil, sump plug back on um obviously filtering that in there once i've done this drop the oil and fill it up so let's grab the tools and then i'll come back to you right so i've checked we're going to do this support bar first we're going to take this off and it is a what are you doing over there e20 hey what what are you doing over there changing my oil it is an e20 I don't know if you can see it on there, it's one of these. Fucking I'm shit with this camera. Yeah, it's one of them. Don't know what you call it, but yeah. So I'm gonna try and crack this off and I bet you it's tight as fuck. Okay, now I that's tight. Right, I'll be back in a sec, I need a bar. Alright boys. So This is the thing you need to get off. It's a like a strut brace type of thing, I'm guessing. Um, it is an absolute nightmare, so I couldn't get it off with the bar, so I had to bring out my good friend Impact. So he's done the job, he's got it off. I couldn't get the socket on there because there was a little this plastic cover here. So I had to take off uh, two of the, on the other side, I had to take off two of the nuts. 8mm on a socket if you need to get that off yours might line up with a hole but mine didn't so I couldn't get the socket on so that's that, right so now I've got that off I know when I drop the oil it's not going to fucking pour all over my head um, so next job is oh, trust me, anyway it's so hard working under here, it's tight so whoever builds cars when they're lying on the floor well done, because this is a fucking nightmare um, so yeah I'm going to undo the filter now just to let the oil drop and then I'll be dropping the oil. So I'll get back to you when I'll top the car because I'm dead and ready. Blood to me head. Right, so size for the filler cap is, you can see on there, it's a 32 anyway. It's quite a big socket. Um, so you're gonna need this. Might, you might not need an extension. No, I don't need an extension. So just a uh, ratchet and that. Hopefully that's enough, but it shouldn't be too tight because they are, you don't do them upside and come back on. See if it comes undone. Yeah, got it. Right, there we go, so it's off. Quite dirty, it's only been 6,000 miles, but pretty dirty, so I'm going to change this. Right, so I'm going to get some cloth. Give this a yank, it might be a bit tight. Fuck that off in there. Um, with the rags, give this give this a clean. You don't really want shit inside it. If you've got a brake cleaner, use that. It would help if it's pumped up. Do it inside this box. So just give it a clean out so you've got no shit in there. Dry it off. Brake cleaner tends to dry itself quick. Right, so now another thing actually before I start. 
Right, so as I mentioned before, uh, there's a little rubber on the like a seal, if I can see it on here, just there. You need like a little hook or a little screwdriver. Pull it off. It is quite fucking awkward sometimes. Don't worry, you don't worry about breaking this one, but they don't tend to break, so take that one off. Get the new one out. It's a new one. And inside the inside where the filter sits on the car, not where this plastic bit goes, but there, just grab a little bit of oil out of that and put it around that. That's what I'm gonna do now. Get rid of this fucking gink. That's what you want to get rid of. Ah. Right. So you just want to oil, get a bit of oil around it, so it's uh, not brittle. It might break if it is. And then whack it on. It goes in bottom ridge there. Obviously, it's the thicker one out of all of them. Hold on. Try not to break it. <laughs> that would be very ideal. Make sure it's all the way in, so it's on now. Had a bit of a dilemma then. I thought I thought this didn't fit, but if you look on the end of here, when I pulled the filter off, this bit here stayed inside. So if I fall I slid over. I thought, oh, this fucking doesn't fit. I look like a dickhead. But no, um, you got to pull this bit out. The bit that I thought was where the fucking filter sits but no so yeah pull that one out fuck it off now this should go in so you want to make sure it's secure you let it click it's got like little things on it um so yeah it's ready to go back in now so um let's go back up to screw it in all right so goes down here and into there um and then do it up you do not want to do it up too tight because they're designed to... It says on them, tw yeah, 25 newton meters. I'm not fucking doing newton meters. I'm just going to do it. I've done loads of these, so... Just do not over-tighten it because plastic with metal, if you over-tighten it, it will fucking crack the plastic and then you're in the shit also. But just keep going. It's a bit awkward in there because there's not much fucking room in there. But just keep going until you feel it. Right, so now it's like against the metal. And just give it a little pull. There we go. Right. So you're going to check it after for uh, the leaks anyway. I'm going to give it a bit of a spray because... Oh, fucking that's awkward holding this camera, you know. Just give it a bit of a clean up. So I can see oil after if anything's leaking. <laughs> I apologise for the camera boys and it is pretty awkward holding the camera while you're trying to do a job. So that's the filter bit done. Um, now I'm going to go underneath, drop the oil, so I'll set the camera up and then drop the oil. Hey right, boys, I'm under the car again. It's fucking awkward. Right, so sump nut is 15mm. 15mm, you're going to need one of these or something big enough to carry the amount of oil in there. I think there is about six litres in there. Um, give or take. So you need something to catch it. Let's put it a bit further back. I'm not trying to teach anyone to suck eggs, but there is people out there who probably haven't got a fucking clue how to do this. Um, most people probably go to the garage because you want your service book stamping and shit like that. But I'm not. As I signed the book myself. As long as it's signed and i got all the receipts, I see that as being fine. So I should, well, because nobody's going to be over this car because I'm not getting rid of it. I've spent too much money. Right, so... I'm going to undo this sump nut now. Hopefully it's easy. It should be. Oh, fucking hell, I say that. It's tightly. Man, I got it. Be ready because this shoots out like make sure your fucking bucket's in the right area 
you'll see in a minute it'll go fucking flying that's why you push it out a little bit it'll start dripping close and then as soon as you take this off make sure you put put the end of the bucket like where it is now and then it'll work its way forward just let it do its thing get as much of the oil out as you can and clean this up meanwhile while it's draining oh i love my arm lovely Apologies for the language, boys and girls. Right. It is simpler if you're in a garage. Um, and if you don't like getting dirty, I don't suggest doing this, because it might just be me, to be honest, I'm a messy bastard. But what do you want to do now? Oh, put that up the fucking thing back. You're going to need that little hook again, so I'm just going to go and grab that. Yeah, so we need this hook again, because there's another seal on this plug that I want to change. So uh, you want to clean this plug up. Get the oil off it. So you can actually see what you're doing. So if you look here, there's a little black seal there, so you want to get that out. Take that out. Away. Right, so what you want to do is a bit of the oil that's dripping now because it's nearly fully drained. Just grab a bit on your finger and do the same with this seal. Uh, yeah, do the same with this seal. That's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna view of my ass. Oh, I don't need much because it's not big. That's what she said. Right, let's put a bit of oil on it so it doesn't. Obviously dry shit will break on it. Just put it on. Doesn't matter which way around it goes, it's the same both ways. Push it down to the bottom, like so. Uh, it's just a new rubber just to seal that up. So I'm just gonna let that drain for a bit. It's literally well, most of it's gone now, it's just dribbling out, but I wanna make sure I get all of it out. You know, I picked the video up. Alright, so some nuts back in. Um, Obviously, where they're very thin, dribble it out. Just give it a little spray because you don't want to leave. You don't want to leave oil under here just in case one day you might think, oh, oil leak. So give that a clean up the bottom of the sump. Obviously, you're going to keep the car jacked up because you want to make sure there's no leaks from when you fill it up. Um, if there is, you're going to have to tighten it. Make sure you put the support bar back in. It's awkward, mate. It's so awkward under here. So support bar's got to go back in. Where's the bolts? Oh, it would be up there, wouldn't it? Put them in finger tight first. Because you don't want to uh, cross thread them. That would not be ideal. Make sure they go in with your fingers first. Which that one? Let's try this one. Right. This might be a bit awkward because I've got the. What are you doing? Huh? I'm to get that air filter from my car. What air filter? This one. Mine. There's a fucking bag of hairs. <laughs> Where's that little hook? Pass me that hook over there. Where'd you put it? It's over there somewhere. Oh, it's on deep leg. Cheers. The problem is here, I've got this fucking cover. I don't want to run this one because it didn't need doing, but it does now. Splashing oil everywhere. Right, I'm gonna have to undo the cover. Two seconds, boys. Oh, this is a nightmare. Back again. Right. Need to undo this cover, these plastic covers I was on about. 
I didn't do this one because of the bolt, I can get the bolt on, but I can't get it in now because it's fucking sitting on it. So I've got on date. Right, so I should be able to get that on now. Ah, oh, the fuck's sake, this bolt's pissing me off. I'll do it a bit. I've done them finger, I've put them in my finger, they'll be alright to raz now. If you've got oh fuck me the oil flying everywhere. If you've got this big bad bad boy here, not a fucking problem. Come here, twat. So right now, I need to put these bolts back in. Ah, oh, fuck it. I'm gonna have to give you a headache under here. Right, so um, I've got the underneath all done, so obviously double check everything because you want to make sure everything's tight. Make sure you put that bar back on. Uh, make sure you put the plastic, screw the little screws back in with it for the plastic covers. And you're pretty much ready to go so i recommend using one of these because the last time i didn't have one of them and <laughs> trying to trying to get the fucking oil in that hole there is pretty awkward so it does have like a little nozzle on this to show you have a look here yeah, so they do have like a little you'll see in a minute when i can get my fucking fingers in there See, it has this little thing, so I use that, so it, that helps, but so much easier if you've uh, got a little funnel. I don't know why, every time I, every time I do cars, I fucking cut myself to bits. I can't get this out. I don't know where that went, but it went somewhere. Anyway, right, so we're gonna start off putting the five litre in. Uh, it will take all this because they, they give you six litres because it takes pretty much the whole six litres. So, obviously, if you don't trust trust doing that, just put put some in and then check your dipstick if there's nothing there, just keep going. You can check, uh, I can't remember what's called, it's called auto data or something, and it tells you exactly, but can't be fucked with that. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and pour this in now, and then set this up. Right, so we're going to pour the whole five litres in, because I know it takes it, because I've done it before. Fucking hell, I'm sure I'm setting this camera up. There we are, we'll go there, so just be very careful, because this stuff will splash everywhere. So I'm going to start putting it in. Just keep an eye on it, and make sure they don't fill up the funnel, make sure it don't overflow out the, the hole. Feels good when you've got clean oil in your car as well, you know, you've actually looked after it. I'm going to be doing my spark plugs. Because um, I put the old ones back in on my last service, because then platinum ones didn't... car didn't run properly. Hey, fuck off, bro. I'm trying to make a video here. Um, so, I'm getting new spark plugs. I'm just going to put the original, the Dexos, I think they are. I'm going to stick some of them back in. Some fresh ones. Um, Obviously, air filter don't need to do because I got a big whoosh whoosh. Now I'm gonna do a panel. I've got a panel filter to put in the car cabin filter. Some people might call it. So I've got that to put in. I'll do a separate video on that because I'm not lie. I don't know how the fuck I do that to be honest. But yeah, All right. I'll stop chatting shit and I'll uh, speed this process up. Alright, that's the 
whole six litres in. <laughs> Yeah. Obviously, it's when I started up, it, some of it goes, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, you look down. Oh. Uh, that's your fuel in it up, up in the air. Yeah, but I've uh, I looked, it says 5.7 to 6. So I just put it all in. Right, so I'll put the oil in now. Uh, if you look on the just type in Astro JVXR um, look for your year because well, it doesn't matter because they don't fucking change for the VXR it says 5.7 to 6 litres so I've whacked it all in fuck it um, it says 6 litres so that's what's going in um, obviously when you when you do the dipstick you really want to make sure your car's level because you'll give a false reading and you want to uh, once you put the oil in, start the car up because the oil, some of the oil will go into the filter housing and um, obviously you'll get a different reading then. So I've done it for now. Filler caps back on, filters on, sump nuts on. So it's ready to start now. For some reason I always dread doing this bit because I always feel like something's going to go wrong, but you know, shouldn't do. I hope. I'm no mechanic, but. How hard can it be? Right, so we're going to go to the car now and start her up. Right, so I've took it off the axle stands because um, I don't really feel right starting up while it's in the air. I don't know why. So I'm just going to start it up now and I have faith it won't be leaking underneath because I did it up tight. So right, The next question is, the fuck have I put my car keys? <laughs> I don't actually know where I put them. Um, right, I'll be back in a minute. I don't know where the fuck my keys are. Found my keys in my pocket. All right, here we go. Start this shit box up. If you're already crunching now, uh, yeah, donations will be needed for an engine rebuild. Turn that on for a minute. Don't know if that does anything, but shut up and everything's open. Ice? Minus 34? Must be having a fucking laugh. Ah, oh, my um, ambient sensor's fucked. Oh, right, nothing's crunching, so that's a good sound. I want to check. Check around the oil filter. Right, I don't see anything. Finish this bit up because can't obviously you can't hear a fix this car so loud. But yeah, I'm pretty much done, so I'll just give you a little talk in a minute. Um, and yeah, that'll be the video, boys. So uh, I'll get back to you in a sec. Right, yeah, so that's everything. Um, it's took the whole six litres. Um, obviously, I've run it up, let it run for a minute, turn it off, and the oil is perfect level on the dipstick now. So six litres is perfect. Um, just, yeah, so I put it all in. Um, obviously, as you saw, it's <laughs> if you're jacking it up on the floor, get it up higher if you can. Um, what? Well, so I'll get you off jack. All right. Got that. In there, it's just me dad's piece of shit. <laughs> There's a wanker over there. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah, that's pre it's, it's pretty easy. It's straightforward. Um, I'm no mechanic, but I have. I used to work here with my dad and my granddad. My, my mechanic skills have gone a bit shit, but I got the job done. Um, so, yeah, but uh, it's just so I don't have to spend money because how much does it cost to do an oil change? So, I like to do things myself. Obviously, it's good content for the channel. This camera it does my head. It's good content for the channel. As you can see, nice new t shirt off my mum. She printed this for me, bless her. Um, but yeah, it's got to change to purple because, as you know, the car is changing colour in two weeks. Um, it's gonna be a, I've, I've said this morning there's going to be a few videos on that um, I'm so buzzing I cannot wait to see this car purple, purple's my favourite colour and I'm just going to be dribbling I dribble on it now, it looks gorgeous now but I'm going to be dribbling even more when it's purple um, 
But other than that, guys, uh, I hope you like the video. Um, look at her, she's sexy. Uh, <laughs> huh? I'm just talking to YouTube. Got my dad here cleaning up after me. He's lit my sleeve. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Yeah, it's just about saving money. That's the only reason I do it. Um, I'm skint. <laughs> Fucking skint. This car skins me, to be honest. But other than that, that's the video, boys and girls. Um, if you're going to slate me on anything I've done, go ahead. I'm, I'm not really bothered. The car's done. It's not broke, so... And I've saved myself money. That's what it's about. It's experience. So, if you've got any messages, any questions, just let me know. Uh, any of you want want me to do your astral oil change, uh, just message me, and I'll do it for you. Uh, it's not a problem. But I don't really like lying on the floor, but you know, if, it, if it's money, I'll do it. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. I know it's been a while since the last one. <laughs> He's coming back again. <laughs> Huh? In the car? It's got oil in, underneath it. There's oil in, out the filter in it. I'll have to go in the bin. <laughs> but fuck off, shit. Yeah, so thank you for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. That's not bad, any. And I'll catch you in the next one, boys uh, and girls, sorry. Peace out.